Jason Ford has just made it a 7-0 lead for Illinois. And how about this for some personal history? That is Jason's 23rd rushing touchdown in his career. He has just tied the galloping ghost. And I'm not talking Ty Dothert. Red Grange and Jason Ford now have the exact same amount of rushing touchdowns in their fighting Illini career. Our own Howard Griffith, if you noticed, on top of that yes, list of 31. Indeed. Great company. It's funny, in talking to Paul Petrino, we asked him about Jason Ford. He said every time he sees him around campus or in the locker room, he makes him say, feed me. Well, he just did. Second kickoff of this first quarter for Dimke, and it makes it into the end zone where Kyle Middlebrooks will take a knee. Thought about taking it out, but instead, it'll be Sun Devil football at the 20. Let's take a look at the backs and receivers for Arizona State. Cameron Marshall is going to get the majority of the carries, but Aaron Flugrad has been the real difference maker so far this year. He has four touchdowns out of his wide receiver spot, two of them week one, two of them last week in overtime against Missouri. He's intriguing, Eric, because he's not he's more functional speed guy, but yet he's able to get deep against the coverage. Arizona State three and out, first time they have the football this time. A catch made by Jarrell Robinson, and he picks up five yards on first down. Let's take a look at our auto owners insurance defense for Illinois. Up front, Akeem Spence trying to fill the big shoes. Left by Corey Legit, who was fantastic a year ago, now in the NFL. Linebacker spot, Trulon Henry. He has already got two interceptions, one of them a touchdown. This after be converting into a Sam linebacker. On second and five, carry Cameron Marshall, and he gets out close to the 40-yard line, pushed out at the 38 by Michael Buchanan, a pickup of 13. Well, just to size up Cameron Marshall, big, powerful back, Eric. Not a bruising type back, but they love to get him in between the tackles, as we saw there. There's your secondary. Shupo Sani just coming back from an Achilles injury that left him out all last season. He's still getting back into game shape. First down run. Once again, this is Marshall, and he picks up nine, maybe ten. Tackle made by the corner, Terry Hawthorne. That's what they want to do. They want their offensive line to move out the bodies up front of Illinois. See if they can wear them down. Heavy doses of Cameron Marshall. There's Dennis Erickson. Fifth year now in the desert. This is his third different Pac-10 school. The Pac-10 coach of the year at Washington State, Oregon State, and here at Arizona State. That one's a forward pass. It's incomplete. Looking for Jamal Miles, trying to get him open in space. It's just careless right there by Brock Osweiler. They practiced that a number of times. That's pitch and catch. If you see how they did last week against Missouri, they came out on fire. But so far, Osweiler has to take command. Third down and one. It's a short one. Couple of tight ends in the backfield next to Osweiler. Deep man is Marshall. They give it to him. And Marshall met in the hole. Looks like he's going to surge forward and have another Sun Devil first down. Marshall, big fella, 5'11", 215 pounds. Junior from San Jose. Expected to split time this year with DeAndre Lewis, more of a scat back, but Lewis... Probably going to be out for the year, so Marshall getting the bulk of the carries so far in the season. Fresh set of downs. Osweiler, quick hitter. Robinson, did he hang on? Yes, he did. Robinson already with three catches early in this ball game. Well, you expect to see Robinson running a lot of slants, a lot of crossing routes, because he's a big body type. It's 6'4", 222. Highly decorated player coming out of high school, and they've been looking for him to develop and take that next step. They think he can truly be a great player. Now, when Tim Brewster was the head coach at Minnesota, Brewster said that Robinson was his number one recruit. He wanted him to be a quarterback for the Golden Gophers. Robinson deciding to play receiver at his hometown school. Osweiler on the move, incomplete. Looking for Marshall out of the backfield. Eric, what strikes me about this Arizona State team and studying them this week is that if you look at them in terms of their time of possession, they're at the bottom 
of the Pac-12, but yet they're averaging over 500 yards a game. So what that tells me is they're a big strike team. They do not like to engineer long drives down the field. Three receivers, bottom of your screen to the right of the quarterback, Osweiler. Another quick hitter. This is our first look at Flugrad, and he's loose inside the 30, down to the 25. Tavon Wilson tackles him, but it's a gain of 22. One of the things to keep an eye on for Illinois is the play of their safety, Shupo Sani and Steve Hall. And we'll see what Flugrad did a week ago against Missouri. Had a big day, eight balls for 180 yards. And in the offseason, Flugrad worked out with Larry Fitzgerald and Todd Heap. I think that's helping him because he's been going off. Dennis Erickson said last week's performance the best he's ever seen by a wide receiver. That's saying something. To the end zone. Catch is made. Out of bounds. Robinson can't stay in. And it's going to be second down and 10. But with that play, Eric, this is the personality of this offense and Brock Osweiler. They want to take their chances down the field. That is a catchable ball, clearly, for Robinson. He had to make a tough adjustment and locate. But I'm sure that's one that he wished he can have back. Ball goes right through the fingertips. He would have been out of bounds, even if he had made the play. Tenth play of this drive. Marshall left side, looking for the edge. Legs cut out from underneath him by the corner. Hawthorne, his second tackle of this drive. And now Marshall looks like he is having a hard time getting up. These are Injury, both timeout. To both. Both of these teams are physical team. Great contact strikers. See Hawthorne coming in. He's a physical player. Big corner puts a shot there right on the thigh of Cameron Marshall. Chris, you play cornerback in this conference. Is that the tackle you're supposed to make on a guy trying to get to the edge? If he's 230 pounds, yes. <laughs> he's, you don't want to take him up high if you're a cornerback. Nice job by Hawthorne. But really, both of these cornerbacks for Illinois, they're physical players. They love to get involved in the run support game. So Marshall has to stay on the sideline. He's being looked at. And the sophomore Kyle Middlebrooks replaces him. In the backfield, Middlebrooks wears number seven. Jamal Miles also in the backfield. He's number 32. Now they put Miles in motion. Osweiler looking his way. Instead, heads to the end zone. Touchdown, ASU. Robinson once again. Heck of a drive by Osweiler and Robinson. They connect three times, and it results in six. Well, the concern with Illinois' defense is the play of their safeties. Shupo, Sani, Steve Hall, that's been the cavity of this defense. Alex Garut makes the extra point, and Arizona State has picked themselves up off the mat. They were three and out first time they had the ball. This time, they march 80 yards for a touchdown. 